What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Austin Show. I'm back with more McFarlane DC Multiverse figures and this time we have the Dark Knight's Death Metal Wave. So this time we have four characters from the Dark Knight's Death Metal comic series and all of them look awesome and extreme. So first up we have Batman which we have had before. He just comes with this awesome guitar this time and then we got a really rad looking Wonder Woman and then we get Superman and King Robin and Superman looks pretty cool with his long hair there. It looks like he's ready to rock out and then just a very creepy looking Robin which kind of has a cool backstory but all four cool looking figures and as you can see with like the pieces attached in there we have our collect and build figure of dark father so if you see him there on the back it is a batman version of dark side which is pretty awesome and i'm excited to build that just to see how tall he is compared to the other figures i just think that figure will look super cool so i'm excited to look at that and hopefully it's going to be easier to build than the past build of figures so let me go ahead and get these figures out of the boxes and we'll check out each one and build that dark father at the end so first up here we have the death metal batman and this looks pretty awesome of course we have done it already before so there's nothing really new to look at. We've already received this exact same figure already from one of the past waves so it's not really a whole lot to look at here but we do have of course the Batman cow with the little ears. He's got this nice black trench coat on over the top. I like how it's got kind of like the bat wing designs with all the spikes. I like all the buckles here in the front even though they painted silver with all the straps and everything. Silver gauntlets on his arms with nice spikes on them and everything. Nice bat suit underneath with the bat logo on his chest. Belt buckle there with the bat logo and all sorts of skulls and chains hanging around there. I like down on his legs he has like these strap design stuff with the spikes going down it and then the knee high boot with the bat designs there for the knee pads and the all armored out boots with the nice little bat wing spikes on the side all the buckles stuff going down into the boots so again like I said we've already done this exact same figure before so not really a whole lot to look at here but for his movements head can twist all the way around there he can look that far down that far up so pretty decent movements shoulders come up 90 degrees and rotate around within the jacket there we've got bicep twist a double elbow joint that can bend up on itself so really good wrist can twist around and flex back and forth crunch and twist right in the midsection there so he can crunch forward and back just a little bit again mostly back and can twist side to side in it hips can come up 90 degrees out to the side that far it does have a thigh twist around in there a double knee joint that can bend up that far in the back and then the foot can flex back and forth and twist side to side and has the toe joint on the end of it now i already have him on the base because a lot of these figures are hard to stand but of course comes with the base for the multiverse figures now we have this batman because they've added some additional stuff too of course comes with the build a figure pieces for the dark father but it also comes with this giant red guitar which is pretty awesome so this figure is made from the dark knight's death metal number one variant cover had a picture of Batman playing a guitar here just like this so it's like his giant scythe that the other one came with but it's a big red guitar and it has a nice little head on the end of it, it almost looks like a dragon with that design there so it's just a really nice cool looking guitar I don't know how you'd get them to really hold this I'll have to try and get it into his hand to look like he's playing it but just a nice little something extra to get with this so you're not just buying the exact same figure over again you are getting the build of figure pieces and an additional weapon so I got Batman ready to rock on with the guitar and we have the little card here which has a picture and so it's Instead of the picture from the comic, they kind of took the figure and remade the picture. So there's a picture of the Batman with the guitar there, which is pretty awesome. And around the back, so we have these Bruce Wayne, six foot two, 210 pounds, all the normal stuff. And then a lot of these cards read very similar, so we're going to hear a lot of the same stuff. But it says, following the universe shattering events of Dark Knight's Metal, the Earth is enveloped by Dark Multiverse and has transformed into the hellish landscape, twisted beyond recognition. Willing to sacrifice his own humanity for the greater good, Batman wields an evil Black Lantern power ring, which grants him powers to to resurrect the dead now leading an army of zombies and riding a bat cycle made of bones the dark knight wages war against the batman who laughs and his omnipotent goddess perpetua in the mission to save the dc multiverse so that kind of gives you backstory on batman himself it looks pretty awesome and as it said him riding the bat cycle we have the other figure we got before on that bat cycle as well so it looks pretty awesome there so now we have a rocker and a motorcycle version of batman but both again those same figures so that is pretty awesome there and i do really like this like in the guitar in his hand so Stuff does make this figure look so much better and awesome so I actually really enjoy that and next up we have Wonder Woman which this looks awesome as well this has got to be like one of my favorite looking Wonder Woman I just think she looks awesome still has that classic Wonder Woman design so she still has the red outfit with the gold lining there of course making the W with the blue skirt and the belt piece of the W there as well nice black designs on it though this time as well that go up and up around her neck onto a color that helps hold on to her cape which hangs down there in the back which is awesome she still has the metal gauntlets there on her forearms that of course can block bullets but then she has some nice skulls tied up there around on her her shoulders she has a nice crown on her head which is a little bit different for one woman not just her normal one but this one has all like the spikes coming off of it her long black hair is still flowing to the back but i like how it's blue at the bottom which is really nice it makes her look even more hard rockish and then she has black lipstick black eyeliner of course her blue eyes sticking out there just looks awesome we still have the thigh highs with the gold at the top and the blue and the knee high boots there in the gold that just looks so awesome they're pretty cool and of course have her on the base as well so just overall she just looks super badass this is just an awesome looking wonder woman it'd be awesome to see this in like a black 
live action movie. But for moments, her head can twist side to side a little bit there. Her hair's in the way, so you can't get much movements at all. And she can look down that far and up just pretty much straight on again because of the hair. Shoulders come up 90 degrees and can rotate all the way around. Got a double elbow joint that can bend up that far, pretty much up on itself, but her armor pieces are conflicting back there to kind of stop that. And she has bicep twist. It's a lower bicep twist though. Can twist around there as well. We get the wrist that twist around and flex back and forth. No real ab crunch or anything in here and no real twist at the waist. It's probably just because of her suit, just this solid piece there. Because there is some movement, but you don't, can't really move it at all. Hips can come up 90 degrees out to the side that far. Double knee joint that can bend up that far in the back. And the foot can rock back and forth and twist side to side. And then we have the toe joint on the end. So overall, like I said, just an awesome looking figure in my opinion. Like I said, just an awesome looking figure. And for accessories, she gets the chainsaw of truth, as I think it's called. And this is a chainsaw made from her invisible jet and lasso of truth combined together. So I think it's a chainsaw that can go invisible and it has the truth powers and everything. So just an awesome looking chainsaw. I like the light blue blade around and stuff and the nice gold handle and everything. Just looks awesome. So let's stick this into her hand. So there she got the chainsaw ready to cut up some people. And then of course we have her card, which looks pretty awesome. Again, another picture of the faction figure there. Around on the back, she is Diana Prince. She's six foot tall, 165 pounds. Again, following the universe shattering events of Dark Knight's Metal, the earth is enveloped by Dark Multiverse and has transformed into a hellish landscape twisted beyond recognition. Now the Batman who laughs rules the planet and in an attempt to defeat him, Wonder Woman uses her invisible jet and lasso of truth to forge a new weapon, the Chainsaw of Truth, and cut down the evil that stands in her way. Teaming up with Batman, Superman, and other DC superheroes, Wonder Woman is on a mission to save the DC multiverse. So there's a little explanation on her chainsaw and stuff as well. And again, just an awesome looking figure, but of course still is a multiverse, so it has all the same issues that I always have with all of them, but just really looks awesome. And next up, we have the Death Metal Superman, which I thought looked really cool and everything, but seeing him out of the package, he looks pretty awesome from the neck down. I think the face just looks really weird. It looks like he's got a really fat face. Of course, it's supposed to be like all the musculature and stuff of Superman. His eyes being red and it looks like they're maybe a little bit lopsided or something. I don't know. He reminds me a lot of like Sloth from Goonies. And then he has the eyebrows that look like female eyebrows. So I don't really know what's going on there. And then his hair, the way it's designed is kind of like weird. And it's just how it's all swept over to the side. So it is longer hair, but it's kind of just swept all around over to this side and doesn't really look how it does in like the pictures and everything. So I don't know what happened exactly to this Superman, why he looks so weird. But from the neck down, I think he looks pretty awesome. So he looks like Superman. So his blue shirt on with Superman logo on his chest. He does have a stone arm. He is being affected by Dark Father. So he's kind of turning into Dark Side. So his skin's starting to turn to stone. But on the other side, he's still humanish. So his nice red band tied there around his arm and the red all wrapped around his wrist. The shirt goes into black pants with this nice chain wrapped around his waist and stuff, which looks pretty awesome. He has like a brass knuckle there on his hand as well with the S on it, which is pretty cool. Then going down to the red boots that are all red and armored up and everything look pretty awesome there as well. So like I said, pretty much from the neck down, he looks super awesome. So for moments, his head can twist all the way around there and he can look down and up. So again, just a little bit of nodding in the head there. Shoulders can come up 90 degrees and there is a little bit of a butterfly joint. It doesn't really work so much on the rock one, but on the human one, there is a little bit of a butterfly joint there. But with this one, the shoulder can twist all the way around. We do have the bicep twist, a double elbow joint that can bend up that far pretty well. We're on the rock side. It's only got a single elbow joint, but the wrist can twist around and flex back and forth. We have an ab crunch and twist in the midsection there, so it can crunch back and forth and twist around in the midsection. And then also has a lower crunch and twist at the waist, so crunch back and forth there and twist around there as well. Hips can come up under 90 degrees out to the side that far. Double knee joint that can bend up that far in the back. And the foot can rock back and forth and twist side to side. And we have the toe joint on the end. Again, he's on the multiverse plate, so I already got him on there. And for accessories, he comes with some additional hands, so he has two fist hands on already. So we get two like open grasping hands. So we have a stone hand with the knuckles on it and then the other hand kind of grasping out there. So both look very cool, but I think for Superman, I want the fist on both of them. And then we have his card. So again, there's a picture of the figure there on the front and around on the back. His name is Cal Aller Clark Kent, six foot three, 235 pounds. And following the universe shattering events of Dark Knight's Metal, the earth is enveloped by Dark Multiverse and has transformed into a hellish landscape, twisted beyond recognition. Now Superman has been separated from Batman, Wonder Woman, and the other DC heroes, and is being held captive in a solar prison on New Apocalypse. He must fight to survive so that he can reunite with his fellow heroes and save the DC multiverse. So that's part of the thing of the New Apocalypse stuff with the Dark Father, again starting to transition his arm into the stone like dark side. And our final figure of the wave is the Robin King, which looks pretty awesome. So this looks like a weird alternate version of Robin, but much more evil. And as we find out, it is actually Bruce Wayne. And from this story, Bruce Wayne actually killed his parents in the alley instead of being killed by a robber. So that started to turn him crazy. And one day he heard a Robin in a tree making noise that kind of felt like it was talking to him. So he started to take on the persona of a Robin because Robins are known to take over the nest of other birds. So he took this as a way to conquer 
conquer others and would spread the message to overthrow the old order. So he just became a menace as a young kid. But looks pretty awesome here. So it has a lot of the looks of the Robin. Of course, inspiration from the Robin. Being the king, he does have the crown on his head, made of sticks and stuff. So it looks like a Robin's nest, but I like the chainmail helmet coming down and still has the Robin face. So it has the all white face with the Robin mask on it. Nice big smile there. And so of course being all evil. Then he's got the feathers all around his neck, which look pretty awesome. So they're like a green color, but have some like metallic purple painted on. So it stands out there pretty awesome. And then he's got the yellow cape hanging down the back and very similar to other Robins. Then he's got the Robin style outfit, you know, looks like all the others. Black Robin suit with the red and yellow down the center, yellow belt on with red details, the yellow R on his chest for Robin. Green gloves on his hands, which are pretty awesome. Nice details look like branches and everything in there look pretty awesome with nice big claws. And the outfit can use down his legs to his knee high boots there with some armor on his knees and everything. So just looks pretty awesome. Like I said, looks like a little menace that you would want to run across, especially him being a kid. But for moments, his head can twist a little side to side there. Again, with the chain mail, then the high collar with the feather stuff, it's hard to get his head to twist. Being look down that far and up that far. Shoulders come up 90 degrees and rotate around within there. We get a bicep twist, a single elbow joint that can bend up that far at least. It could go more, but the feathers are in his way. And the wrist can twist around and flex back and forth. No ab crunch or anything in there. He is pretty solid, but he does have a twist around at the waist. Hips can come up 90 degrees out to the side that far. We have a single knee joint that can bend up that far in the back and the foot can rock back and forth and twist side to side with the toe joint on the end. And again, as usual, he is on the base there. And for accessories, he comes with some additional hands. So we have like a grip hand and a fist hand to go along with this just kind of two open hands. And then we have his card. So there's a picture of the figure there. Of course, for Robin King around the back, it is Bruce Wayne. He's 5'6", 84 pounds and says out of the most sinister corner of the dark multiverse comes Robin King, a young version of Bruce Wayne who's chosen an unexpected horrific path to follow. Rather than becoming Batman, this troubled Bruce embraced his inner darkness at a young age, donning his own Robin costume and devoting his life to evil. His utility belt is filled to the brim with weapons designed to defeat every hero in the DC multiverse, making Robin King the most sadistic soldier in the Batman Who Laughs Evil army. So there's a lot about him, and I did read about those weapons it just mentioned. He has all sorts of crazy weapons again, as it said, to defeat every single hero. So Robin King is a very evil and sinister little kid. And finally, that brings us to our build a figure of Dark Father, which is a combination of Batman and Dark Side. So in this, it is Bruce Wayne, and it is Batman that acquired Dark Side's powers after defeating him, and he ended up mastering the anti-life equation. So he did become evil and everything. It's not still like a good Batman or anything. And he rules New Apocalypse, which is where he kept Superman. And he was trying to drain his powers, but it was also turning Superman into a Dark Side version as well. So he looks pretty awesome here. So it is like a combination of Dark Side. So it looks like Dark Side's body, but with a Batman outfit on. So I like the cape and cow there in the dark blue. So it's like that classic Batman design. He's got the little yellow eyes, but still like a Dark Side style mouth. Great costume in the middle. Big black bat there on his chest. I like the little stud pieces there on the shoulders. And he has the utility belt on still. Looks big and massive underwear with some black studded pieces as well. The costume goes down the legs. You can see that textured material of the Batman outfit going down into the boots, which has like the dark side style boots just in the blue this time. As I mentioned, cape hanging off the back there looks a lot like Batman, just nice textured material. But he has the forearm gauntlets there with the spikes all the way around him and it can has that rock like skin. But for moments, his head there can twist all the way around. He can look down that far and up that far. So he actually has actually the best moments of any of these figures. Shoulders can come up 90 degrees and has like the butterfly joint in there and they can rotate all the way around. We get a bicep twist which real stiff and a single elbow joint which with these spikes on his hands make it really hard to move but you can get it bent up to 90 degrees there and a bunch of holes in your hand and then the wrist can twist around and flex back and forth we have an ab crunch in the midsection there so crunch back and forth and twist side to side and it feels like you may have a lower crunch at his waist as well as additional movements his hips can come up 90 degrees out to the side that far a little bit of thigh twist in there as well a double knee joint that can bend up that far in the back so pretty good and the foot can flex back and forth and twist side to side with the toe joint on the end so it is kind of crazy that the build a figure has some of the best movements out of all the figures with all the joints overall so that's really nice but he does look really awesome there especially with this combination of dark side and batman into dark father looks pretty awesome and i think fits pretty well along with the death metal story and everything so that is awesome well that's all our figures for the mcfarland dc multiverse death metal wave with the build a figure dark father there in the back such a awesome looking wave like i said the figures are all the mcfarland figures so there's still issues with them that i wish they would change some stuff on but that's just mcfarland we have to deal with it but i think all the figures look pretty awesome it was awesome to get the batman again but with the guitar this time but that wonder woman like i said definitely my favorite looking wonder woman the superman looks awesome except for the head i don't know what happened there and the robin king is actually pretty cool as well so all great looking figures so i can't complain too much like i said just the normal mcfarland movements but let me know what you thought of these figures down in the comments and if you enjoyed my review please leave a thumbs up for me but i want to thank you all for watching i hope you all stay awesome out there and i'll see you in our next review